Hello and welcome to another Mugman Custom Showcase, where today, yeah, I'm just decided, fuck it, I, I cannot get these legs off like at all. I'll probably do an update video if I ever figure this crap out. I mean, I thought it would be as simple as like drilling into the waist and then popping it open, and that's, that's not working. It's not working out. So for the time being, he's got these legs. But today we're going to be taking a look at my custom, uh, Spider-Man the New Animated Series, Spider-Man. You're probably wondering, but Mugman, isn't that the Sam Raimi head? And you're like... Why, why is that on there? And it is. It is on there. It definitely is. As you can see. He's got interchangeable heads now. Problem with that is, though, I gotta actually, like, pull this joint out, because they all just, you know, cling to this, uh, peg here, and I feel like if I sanded it down anymore, these heads would not fit on at all. So, let me get some tweezers. Also, if you see any glitter on this guy, that's only because my sister, like, did a thing for my mom with glitter, and now there's just glitter everywhere. But yeah, here he is in all of his, oh my god, that's beautiful, I'm sorry, like, the shiny webs, I mean, it's all painted silver, but like, you see the dark ones, you see the ones that shine in the light, it's just, it's just accurate to the show, it's, it's enough to warm a man's heart. Also, a little update, don't know if I'm going to keep this system right now, got a magnet there, metal pen in the uh, hole joint that used to be there, it moves, he balances okay. Stands a little taller, though, but uh, I can fix that. Yeah, I am still working on this guy. Oh, and uh, I was thinking about making a new uh, hood for Hobby. As cool as this one looks, it does not fit on there for shit. And I kind of don't want to modify it necessarily, because I kind of still want to use this guy. Like, take his head and uh, make it an alternate head for that guy. Because I already broke the neck. Then I actually, like, I kind of really like this, like, you know, it's got a joint here in the uh, lower torso and waist that goes forward enough. Well, he had double jointed elbows and knees and all that. Oh, damn. While he's in not the greatest of poses, let me just show you. Because uh, this is definitely something I probably showed in the last video, the work in progress video. He's got interchangeable hands, you know, I want to give him the individual finger articulated hands for gestures and fists. However, the one downside about these individually articulated fingers, when you try to do the flip thing, it, uh, I suppose it looks a little bit more real, kind of, but I don't know, it just, okay, from certain angles, this looks great, like, uh, I guess more, yeah, I don't know, I love these things, but this one, it's because of these fingers being too bent and this, way it's sculpted, damn bootleg-ass hands. Well, it looks pretty alright when you're, you know, grabbing something, but then you try to do that, and there's just, like, extra plastic here on, like, the, uh, I don't really know what part of that hand is, like, right near the pinky, like, whatever this is that isn't part of the pinky, and it looks a little off. And again, that's what I get for dealing with a bootleg. Still a pretty good bootleg. It's now being used in another custom. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I wasn't exactly expecting to make a video here. I, I literally bought a camera tripod for, like, phones, and it's at my college dorm, because I'm home right now. God damn it. Okay, so as you probably saw when I took off the head, let me just take it off again, I modified the uh, neck area by shredding it, and there's some, still some sculpt in there, I was trying to make this a tighter fit, but that's just not working out. But yeah, I made a little indentation here, so, you know, he's got a little bit of neck pivot and all that, but now he can look down and look up considerably. Much more than if the peg was not modified. And that even goes for the uh, regular Sam Raimi head. I just noticed that there's so much glitter here. I, I, I gotta refrain from just being... Sister, what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the Sam Raimi head now looks... About that far down. Pretty far up. I don't know, did I miss the joint? Yeah, I guess it only does look that far down. But uh, hey, I, I do actually appreciate the looking up, because this guy, I don't know what it was about these old, like, Spider-Man classics bodies, or whatever, you know, these movie ones included, but like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, that is down, and that is up. I don't know if I have this rotated and twisted all sorts of messed up, and that's why, because usually there's just a little tiny bit more movement, but good lord, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. But now there's something. 
great thing about this head being still usable, that means I can make a Tenace prequel. You're probably thinking, Mugman, ain't that just a Sam Raimi first movie? But I'm like, no. No, Craven wasn't in that. He was in the Xbox exclusive version of the game, but he wasn't in it. So I gotta have, like, a plot. Like, Craven finds out about the human spider, because he's still that at that point. Well, he's at least wearing that suit, so I guess I gotta make a custom of that. He wants to hunt him. Somewhere, like, between that and their final fight, you know, he gets the classic Sam Raimi suit. And is it bad that I kind of prefer this to, like, the Spider-Man 2 suit? Like, I love the way this logo looks and the way this front logo looks. Like, I don't know, it feels more comic booky to me, and there's glitter. There's just so much goddamn glitter. And you're probably thinking, wow, some interchangeable hands, two heads, and some pretty decent articulation for the time, and, you know, slightly improved. Good sculpt. Good, uh, good-ish paint apps. I don't know if you can really see it there, but, like... You know, I had to paint all this, like, silver and then paint over it with red. And that leg got covered in some red paint, but uh, it's hard to see. And not to mention the red looks better because it used to look really pink. And I still haven't done up the head, but in this light, it, it, it doesn't look too bad. But there's one more head. There could even be two more, but uh, I would have to sacrifice this guy. Or, you know, just buy a Sam Raimi head. What's up with his nose? What's up with the paint on his nose? Well, you know, I could just buy a uh, Sam Raimi head. I don't know, that is weird. I do not remember that guy having some missing paint there. Like, at all. But there is another Peter Parker head. Now, you might know this as the uh, Captain Universe Peter Parker head that I sanded the beard off of and re-sculpted to be the Peter B. Parker head for my custom Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man. But, you know, oop, uh, don't fall, Pete. Since I got, you know, this guy... It's still a work in progress. I gotta figure out how to pop torsos. It'll make my life so much easier. Anyone got any tutorials they can send? So I can just pop open the torso, swap the arms, and then hey, this guy's pretty much done. Just need to worry about replacing the neck. This guy's neck. Or at least have it swappable neck so we can have this head. That and uh, one last thing I need to do get a magnet for this so it stays in there. But also maybe find some figures, like, I don't know, that what was that? Jared Leto Joker? Or something? Yeah, make the ankles, like, the shins swappable so we can have a barefoot look. And then, hey, just make a new uh, trench coat out of, like, fabric, and it'd be perfect. Basically be the Mayfex, except half the price, and not a bootleg version, because that's all I can afford. But uh, back to this guy. So as you can see, I painted over the 5 o'clock shadow. Might not be the most accurate head. And debatably, it's a bit too big. And maybe I ought to sand him down some more and re-sculpt it on his side so his face is more in because it's, you know, fatter than it should. But for the time being, this will have to do. And is that is that it? Is that some damn glitter? What is that? What is that right there? Yeah, just, uh, it got rid of it. It's gone. It's gone like all my problems. It's gone. It's gone. But yes... This figure is, like, pretty much done. And, you know, he can look that far down and uh, that far up. Ain't that just amazing? I mean, done other than the fact that I still want to do a leg swap, but I uh, can't do that right now. So I figured I'd put a video out there saying, yeah, he's, he's good. He's golden. Painted everything. It's all good. Being kind of a Marvel Legends custom, here he is standing next to the uh, Retro Wave Spidey. Whom I still need to do that torso mod, so, you know, give him waist swivel. I like to say they're about the same size, but this dude stands so damn awkwardly. Like, look. You see that? See how one leg is just, like... Is that, is that any better? I don't know. It looks too wide. God damn. Yeah, I guess he's just a shade bit shorter, but uh, that's probably because, uh... God damn, focus. Never swapped those legs out, which I still gotta do, eventually. I don't know, not the worst size difference in the world. Since he is a bit of a hybrid of the two, here he is standing next to the Ultimate Spider-Man, which looks more like Stuart Eminem's Ultimate Spider-Man, and whose repaint of blue is coming. God damn it, I spent so much time repainting that blue to what I thought looked like a more better blue, and here it is, coming off. What the hell? Shouldn't you be stay keeping it on? And of course, you know, here he's standing next to the Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man, because the only Spider-Man 1 Spider-Man I had I used for this guy. But, uh, hey... Yeah, you see taller. Hold on. Hmm. 
don't know, maybe they're about the same size. That's great. Three is standing next to a classic Toy Biz Spider-Man. We have the McFarlane. Once again, I don't know if it's just angles or maybe actually maybe it's actually because of the way the head sits on the neck. Maybe he's actually tall enough. I don't know, it's accurate. He's supposed to have a bit of a longer neck if memory serves. Not like too long, but you know. Like Bendis are long. Uh, it's really loose now. I don't even know why. Okay, one last size comparison before I get to the real thing I'm sure you're all wanting to see. Since, you know, I gave up one member of that certain brigade to make this. But uh, one last comparison. We have him compared to Ultimate Venom. We just knocked him onto the floor. like the size difference, but you know, if this were a true Ultimate Spider-Man, he'd probably be more down to here. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, but you didn't think you'd be seeing this guy on my channel for a while, unless I did a stop motion with him. But here he is. All of his ultimate glory. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my review, guys. And please, enjoy probably the following cool images, except I probably don't feel like taking any more artsy photos today other than the one. Yeah, I was trying to do the bit, but when posing this guy, I broke his leg. I mean, that that's cool. I was using him for fodder anyway, but, like... Fuck me, right? Time to see about swapping these hands. Expect that video in 3 to 8 business years. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I guess it's over. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I took his hands. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this actually works out.